Good morning, good morning in beautiful Marina Del Rey. I'm here with Jeff. Jeff Skaggs. My name is Grace Helbig. Abby Thomas. Noah Young. Cheryl Lazar. Hey, I'm Owen Leinbach. I'm Jatendra Sadev. Zach Gallagher. I think it's all about clear collaboration. When that can happen with an influencer and a brand in a very cohesive, organic way, really amazing things can happen. You've definitely gone from a few big creators that were really defining the scene to, you know, just thousands now that are just out there and are really just changing the way that people are consuming content. And, you know, they could be have 1,000 fans, they could have, you know, 10 million fans. You know, we're just looking for the right person and the right fit. Today, it's about vulnerability and humanity in your ideas. It's about, you know, perfection is passe, and no one really buys into the idea of perfection now. Don't be afraid to show the flaws in your ideas, your products, your services, your humanity, the humanity of your enterprise. It's because that's what's going to connect with audiences today as well, all right? So that's what YouTube stars are doing as well. They're far from perfect, and they're influencing behavior based on that. And what's the best doorway in, David, as brands start to come to the table? You know, it, the doorway in's confusing. I mean, you've got MCNs here, you've got managers, you've got talent agents, you have other companies that are just, their whole business models are based around influencer marketing. And I think it's confusing for the agencies and brands. What's important, though, is that you do get to the right person who can have that discussion that Connor just uh, talked about, which is, is this the right fit? Can we create a piece of content that everyone's going to be proud of and that's going to drive you know, a real ROI? I'm going to blow it up. Blow it up. I, Drop the mic. I, I think engagement is bullshit. I want to make my brand famous and I want to get people talking about it and I don't really care how many people like the post. I, I, it, it doesn't do anything for my brand. Nobody knows what that's worth. My whole goal is to do something for the brand that people are going to talk about. We're going to promote it. We're going to put media money behind it. So counting the number of likes that it gets doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, you just said it in a much cooler way than I was going to say it. Um, <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to add to that. But really what I look for is, you know, I, we get a publicity report. And that's really what I look for is, like, how much press has written about it. Because if press has written about it, they're like at the very end of catching out of what's going on. So if it's made it into that, you're no like, offense, all right, it's no worked. No offense to the press. You guys, you guys <laughs> well, are cool. I mean, they've got a lot to cover. So they do, they need to be judicious with what they cover. But once you get lots of press coverage, you know you've really done it. Because then you've hit at the organic level, you've hit at the um, earned media level. And I really think that uh, that's key. Well, I think engagement should be measured wider than just likes and dislikes. It should reach out into the earned space, should reach into the written space, should reach into the sentiment space. We also work with a lot of brands who have very particular, you know, MMMs or like they're measuring in super sophisticated ways that none of us plebeians even understand. Lots of times we have to work with insights groups inside of brands to figure out how to best suck the right data points out of the work we're doing to get it into their media mix model. I think it's also a responsibility of the brand or whoever's coming to an influencer uh, for the project to say, this is our goal. Because I feel like you only find that out midway. You're like, I didn't realize you wanted clicks through to your site. Thanks for letting me know. Like, yeah, you just came to me for an Instagram post. Like, we didn't know that you wanted all this stuff. And then it's a bad look on the talent. And then it's a bad look. And then that's where it creates that conflict. So I think we all need to be more transparent in terms of what we all want out of it. We as content creators are the brand. And for the most part, we're our own production companies, our own on-air talent, our own post-production companies, our own marketing departments, publicity, advertising executives, executive producers, the list, it goes on. We wear a lot of hats. So when we're pairing up with other brands, we want to make sure that the hats are complementary um, because the right brand paired with the right creator is a magical outcome. It's like Kentucky Derby level hat status that happens.